Okay, growing and using herbs successfully. Um, Betty E.M. Jacobs. So, this book does come with diagrams and pictures. And got, well, names we know them by, and then like Latin terms. Uh, but yeah, again, I, uh, I'm all posted, no need up. Um, I got this, um, at a used bookstore, um, for like seven bucks. So, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, so starting your herb garden and like it, um, like Elaine, how do you get the best results with 64 herbs? So, um, and like, this is just a list of 32, um, basic herb garden, but yeah. Um, how each can be used, um, how to do it, but yeah, um, 32 more herbs to grow, and so it just talks about, um, the herbs, so it'll, so you got bay right there, and then information about it, and then, um, a guide to vegetative um, propagation and of perennial herbs. Um, harvesting, drying, storing, and freezing. Um, growing them for a profit. So if you want to sell them for a profit, um, sell your herbs. Um, this book um, shows a little bit on how to do that. Uh, markets and marketing, like fresh herbs, um, herbs for dyeing, um, for culinary purposes, gifts, um, mail order, um, roadside stands, so it talks about that. Um, talks about growing parsley, there's a whole chapter on growing parsley and chives. So if you were, if you're, um, it doesn't go by chapter by chapter for all of the um, 64 herbs. It just does it on two. Um, so then it's back for um, herb products for fun and profit. So profit, two herbs, profit. Um, it would have, um, like, um, it would be nice just to have those two before the profit um, chapters. But it's still um, nice. So. I'd rather have um, those two by going parsley and chives before um, doing the business type thing. But building the successful business, so there's um, points to remember. Um, glossary, cultural recommendations for them. So lifespan, soil, that kind of thing. Um, propagation in pots, so pot size. Part of the herb to harvest, so whether it's um, the stem, the seeds, whatever, um, it just brief glance at that. Um, recommended books that were in the text, um, growers and suppliers, and then um, non commercial herb gardens. Um, and so I have the Canadian ones um, tagged, um, but it does have a list of U.S. ones um, as well. So if you are interested in growing your growing and using your own herbs, whether it be for magical or cooking um, reasons, this is something to look into. It does, and it is specific to herbs, not here's some herbs and then here's some fruits, here's some vegetables. It is 
what it is saying that it's helping you grow these um, so you get the best result. Um, yeah, and it's just um, advice on how to um, make them and a brief glance on how to make a prof profit on it because there is a few, like three chapters on it to do that. So, um, yeah, so whether you're looking to growing your own herbs for whatever reason, this is something to look into. Um, now I can't, um, I don't see, um, it is, um, early, well, mid seventies when this was first, um, released, but like, to me, I think there is some relevance, um, to today, because, um, I don't think there would have been there wouldn't be too much um, difference, but yeah, um, it's a start if you want to, if you're concerned about like when stuff was published, and I can't, um, and then I'm looking for a, cur a price that was um, on it, but um, yeah, so you'd have to look um, at that, but um, pretty sure some people like me can find it discounted like I did, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, something to look into if you're uh, trying to add um, herbs or a few more herbs to your garden. Uh, using, growing and using herbs successfully. Betty E.M. Jacobs. Happy readings.